What's up guys, Kidmar95 here bringing you another episode. In today's episode we have a technical analysis on NEO here, currently up about half a percent in USD value sitting at $67, but we're looking at the Satoshi value sitting at about 767000 down about 1% for the day. So really quick though folks, before we do that, let's go ahead and run through the market. Market cap is sitting at $404 billion. today's volume is $23.6 billion, Bitcoin dominance sitting at 366 we did actually just have a dramatic push. We're going to go ahead and run through some price action really quick. Bitcoin up about 1%, back up above 8,700. Ethereum up almost about 3, sitting just below 730. Ripple had a nice little push up about 4.5%, sitting at 74 cents. It was pretty cool because I actually got to watch all of these just happen. It literally just happened about 5 minutes ago. Let's see, EOS down 1, sitting at 14. Litecoin up 1, sitting at 143. Lumens up almost 1 as well, sitting at, <coughs> sitting at 36, sorry. IOTA up almost a percent and a half, sitting at two. Who are the big winners today? Ken up 35, Zcash up 30, almost 34. Bitcoin up 33, ARK up almost 18, Redcoin up almost 17, Polymath up 13. Big losers. Rocky Chain, Mixin, and Funfair all down about six to five percent. But you folks came here for some NEO. Market cap is sitting at 4.3 billion. Today's volume is 121 million. Circulating supply is 65 million. Total supply 100 million, max supply 100 million. Major exchanges here, folks Binance, Bitfinex, CoinEx, Upbit, Bitrix, and Bitfinex and Qcoin and Kyobi looks like are the major exchanges. Let's go ahead and head over to the charts that you folks came here for. So, this is what just happened. This is the four hour on BTC to USD. It looks like we actually just formed a double bottom. Well, in the next two hours, once this candle closes, but it looked like price was actually going to, you know, break towards the downside. And then out of nowhere, huge push towards the upside. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking we're going to double bottom here and then head towards the upside. However, I'm not adding to my position until we break and close above 8,750. Once we break and close above 8,750 on the four hour, should be good to go. Momentum was heading towards the downside. So it looks like, you know, we could be possibly forming a higher low here. But again, folks, just be patient. Taking a look at Ethereum. Ethereum did the exact same thing. We were as low as about 689. I actually thought this was going to be engulfing this candle. And then, you know, crypto, huge rejection, push towards the upside. Let's go ahead and switch over to the four hours, see what the four hours showing us. So I'm waiting for the break and close on the four hour above 735. Once we break and close above 735, it should be good to go. But again, just my personal opinion, not a financial advisor. <clears throat> oh, I'm getting sick, I can feel it. And then this is Litecoin to USD on the daily. Price came as low as about 134. It did look like we were actually going to engulf this candle. Momentum started to shift towards the upside, as you could tell. Let's go ahead and switch over to the 4-hour. And then the 4-hour doing the same thing as Bitcoin. Looks like we have a nice little double bottom here, bottom 1, bottom 2. Inside our major support, so I'm expecting Litecoin to take off once we break and close above 145 on the 4-hour. But again, just my personal opinion, not a financial advisor. And finally, you folks came here for some NEO to BTC technical analysis. So this is the daily we're looking at really quick. Good beginning of our uptrend. Some dramatic resistance here at about 1.3 million Satoshis. Nice little downtrend we were in. Bounce uh, number two off our trend. And then looks, look, 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 looks like this is going to be bounce number three off our trend. Momentum definitely starting to shift towards the upside. Let's go ahead and switch over to the four hours. See what the four hours showing us. Four hours actually showing us we're stuck in this nice little consolidation. So what am I waiting for here on Neo, folks? Well, for Neo, for my entry, I'm waiting for the break and close above seventy nine thousand. Let me go ahead and seven hundred and ninety thousand, not seventy nine, seven hundred and ninety thousand satoshis. Once we get the break and close above this level. I'm expecting NEO to take off, but until then, I'm just going to kind of be waiting. We could possibly retrace a little bit and then form us a nice little double bottom here. Unless this is our wrong one. Cancel that. Backspace. Backspace. Oops. Never mind. Let me just do this. But this could be our first bottom, bottom one. And then this could potentially be our second bottom here. Price did come as low as about 750,000 Satoshis, well 758,000 Satoshis, 
And then since then, we've kind of been retracing. We do have about another two hours before this candle closes. So what I do is just wait for the break and close above 79,000 Satoshis on the four hour, and NEO should be good to go. So where do I see this coin going in 2018? Let's go ahead and zoom out. NEO could easily come back up to its all time high here, folks, at about 1.5 million Satoshis. My more aggressive target for NEO, however, is going to be about 2.5 million. But I don't expect this to happen until about a couple months into 2019. But again, just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, as you guys already know. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to re-steam upload. Keep commenting down below what kind of coins you guys are trying to see. If you guys are on YouTube, make sure you guys are subscribed and have post notifications turned on. I do post a new video every single day. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.